Alright, so we finally tracked down Mitsuo Kubo to his Void Quest dungeon. Yeah, I know I might have mentioned that I would be showing off the bonus bosses at the end of the other dungeons, but due to some kind of recording error, that just... it just didn't go through. Anyway, they're just more or less recolors of standard enemies that you uh, fight against in regular dungeons. Oh, also, if you hadn't noticed, I decided to use another uh, costume switch for our characters. So now they're the Phoenix Ranger R, which is an obvious reference to Power Rangers or Super Sentai. Whatever you want to call it. And I don't think it... I think I might uh, come up once, but certain costume changes affect uh, ending victory quotes. I think Yosuke is the only one who actually gets a victory quote at the end of battles now for this episode. Oh, and they also do poses, so that's cool. The reason you don't really get to hear them is because a shuffle time kind of takes priority, and I get a lot of shuffle time in this dungeon for some reason. This is also the first dungeon that we've actually had uh, Risei team up with us, like, as a navigator. Well, I say te technically her dungeon was the first, but this is the one where we have her fulfill her whole navigator roles. role. I found a lot of golden hands in this dungeon. So I kind of like and kind of dislike Mitsuo's dungeon. Mainly because it has this whole video game aesthetic. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> and of course I get a, uh, a sweet bonus. So we're probably not going to hear the Phoenix Ranger ending victory quote at the end of a few battles. And I also fast forward a few portions of the dungeon. And yeah, I, I kind of had the XP still gain more. So my team is going to get a lot of XP, get a lot of uh, levels in. But that works just fine. That works just fine for me. Again, this is a New Game Plus run. But I'm sort of giving myself a handicap because I'm not using the most powerful persona. And yet I'm still doing this. I give myself weird handicaps, apparently. Torrent Shot is kind of an improved version of Kill Rush, but... And I kind of try using it. But it's... I don't know, it's one of those moves that's kind of weird. Especially since Kanji's... Like, agility is a bit lower. Or his accuracy is a bit lower than most. And I, he only usually gets, like, one hit in... One or two hits in of the Torrent Shot, and it's not really that powerful. Later on in the game, he's going to get one of the best physical moves and one of my personal favorites to use later on. So yeah, this room just screams like... This whole dungeon screams murder, doesn't it? Void quest. I'm not sure which one came out first. Was it 3D Dot Hero or was it this? Actually, I can look that up real easy. Let's see. 3D Dot Game Heroes came out in 2010 of May 11th. And of course I had to speed it up and add some uh add some background music. No, this came out before 3D Dot Hero. Huh. This was back out in 2008. Well, the original one was. The only reason I bring up 3D Dot Heroes is you're gonna see a pretty, a pretty decent nod to uh, a nod to it later on in the dungeon. I like this remix of the Velvet Room theme song. This actually pops up in uh, Persona 4 Dancing All Night. I actually use a lot of these uh, Dancing All Night remixes. Because although the story may be a bit weak in that game, the music's pretty si pretty sick. So 
So Mitsuo kind of lives in his own little RPG world. That's fun. I say that's fun to describe a friggin' serial killer. But this part of the dungeon I did not fast forward for one particular reason. There's two portions of the dungeon that I did not fast forward. See, look, that little image right there. Because this is... This dungeon has two gimmicks to it. The first one is... There's teleporting on floor three. And I think this is the only floor that it happens on. Yeah, I was mentioning those little uh, fountains. They look like the box character from 3D Dot Heroes, 3D Dot Game Heroes, which is another Atlas game, at least in the North, at least in North America. Strangely enough, to kind of tie this in to the other Persona games. The Phoenix Rangers actually play a really big part in Persona 2. And I think... I'm trying to remember here. Yeah, I think every character from the from Persona 2 wore these... At least wore the masks from these characters. Like, our character naturally has Tatsuya's outfit. Yosuke has Eikichi's outfit, which, outfit, which actually kind of works considering in Persona 4 Arena, one of the recolors for Yosuke is Eikichi, and a recolor for um, Jiraiya is Hades, which is a nice little nod. And I'm pretty certain that... I'm pretty certain that uh, Yukiko has Maya's. I can actually look this up again. And Kanji has... Um, Oh, shoot, I'm forgetting. Uh, Jun. He has Jun's. No, Maya does not have the pink one. That is actually Lisa, the lover's ink social link. I say social link. Persona 2 didn't have social links. No, Lisa, the main female character from Persona 2... Not main female character, second female character in Persona 2 had the pink one. Maya had a uh, blue swan. And just because I'm probably not going to be using uh, Teddy or Chie for a bit, Chie has green and Teddy has white. And although Risei does not have a Phoenix co Phoenix Ranger costume in this one, she does get one like post like uh, after the fact in Dancing All Night, where she's purple. So that's a nice little touch they added. So if this isn't a confession that Mitsuo killed Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi and, and uh, Moroka, this should probably be a decent indicator. <laughs> He's the killer, Risei. And this one I didn't speed up, mainly because I get to the stairs pretty quickly. If he wasn't on our enemies list before, like... <laughs> Serial killers aren't exactly the most, you know, aren't exactly the nicest people. They're not exactly on your top ten friends list. I wouldn't add them on Facebook. Not that I even use my Facebook to begin with. <laughs> uh, I'd add Kyle Laber, <laughs> but not creepy Kyle Laber. Kamina Kyle, Kyle Laber or Gohan, either one. So that's obviously referencing Shaki. And he killed her. Or at least Mitsuo is saying that he killed her. Then I don't think you can really take that too literally, Risei. I don't think you actually level up from killing people in real life. Yeah, so I had to get a bit of luck finding these uh, golden hands. And that just boosted my levels like crazy. In fact, Yukiko is actually getting pretty close to learning uh, her the first dying level spell that we have. Maybe I should turn down the experience 
experience gain. Or maybe I should bump it up even more. I'm not sure. So I think Mitsuo's kind of losing it now. I think he did, Risei. I think he's gone ape shit. So in order to <laughs> deal with our possible murder suspect going ape shit, let's listen to the Juness theme. Da, da. It's cool, we'll just level up like bosses and then kick his ass. This giant Gundam looking thing has a, a little bit of a small amount of health, but he has high defense. That's the exchange. Uh, I like the Juness theme song. Especially in Persona 4 Dancing All Night. Because Nanako dances to it. We'll actually learn a bit more about the backstory of Dancing All Night in the next few updates. Relax and don't let your guard down. Yeah, he's definitely going crazy. He might be insane. <laughs> he might be. This is the other dungeon portion of the dungeon that has a weird gimmick to it. I'm sort of... Uh, there it is. If you go straight, the dungeon automatically shifts your camera. So that makes it navigating through here a bit difficult. However, don't just immediately run for the stairs on this particular uh, floor of Void Quest. Because there's a very specific item that we need here. It's actually a key item. Well, it's actually a key. Yeah, this got me and a few other people on a, on your first playthrough of Persona 4. Uh, Persona 4. See, you just go like, oh, well, that left, that uh, floor was annoying. Well, at least I'm done with that. I don't have to deal with it again. And then you get to the boss door, and it's like, oh, shit. Boss door is locked. Can't get in there. Well, it turns out the key item is on this floor. But you never would know that unless you explored it all the way through. Strangely enough, this kind of hunt for the key thing doesn't pop up until... Well, I don't think it pops up in any other dungeon, but... There's something somewhat similar to it in a later dungeon. But don't you worry. Crash Star Game will show you just... Well, will give you a decent idea of where to go. Oh, and thanks to one of Risei's powers of her persona, we're actually able to notice a treasure chest on the map. So that makes navigating a little bit easier. And later on, as you improve her social link, or as you level her up, she'll actually be able to point out uh, where enemies are on the map. Without you having to first see them. And guarding the key item is another hand. This boss was kind of annoying, sort of, because it summons a healer. Now naturally you want to try killing the healer first, but it also resists a lot of damage. Physical damage especially, but that's kind of my forte. This is why... I... Yeah, Torn Shot's okay, but it's not exactly my favorite physical attack. Now, the white hand will end up casting Diorama, which just heals the black hand that... I forget what it's actually called. So really what you want to do is kill him because he'll just keep summoning other hands if you give him a chance. So if you just kill the summoner before the healer can actually do anything, well there's no more issue. Like so. Unfortunately he doesn't resist physical attacks, but that white hand knows God's hand. Which is a move that Chie can learn later on if you level her up enough. Yeah, there you go. They do the, they do the Sentai poses and uh... Call outs. I don't use any of the break abilities. I feel like it wastes a turn. And if you're gonna. And if an enemy can resist an elemental attack, I may as well just use a physical attack or use somebody else's element. You okay, Kanji? You seem low on health. The Orb of Darkness. So that's how you enter the boss room door. So now that we have it, we can just proceed through the rest of the dungeon, no problem.
Although, just because you found the Orb of Darkness doesn't mean it changed how this dungeon wor this particular floor works. I'm pretty sure it'll still try to fuck up with your camera. But so long as you can just follow the map, you're not really gonna be, uh... It's not gonna be too disorienting. And so far, there hasn't been any signs of the Reaper popping up out of one of these uh, treasure chests. I probably mentioned that in an earlier uh, in an earlier part, but especially on New Game Plus runs, uh, treasure chests can end up holding the super boss, not super boss, a very powerful boss-esque character called the Reaper. Oh, and here's Moroka. Okay? It went from fight to kill. Just like Dragon Warrior. Thy coolness. <laughs> Just because we called Moroka King Moron doesn't mean it's cool to kill him. That is correct. Like I was saying, um, there was a very powerful enemy that would pop up in Persona 3 if you lingered too long on a particular floor called the Reaper. Now. I forget what happens if you beat him in Persona 3, because he's a very powerful enemy. Because it's basically the personification of death. But if you beat him in a treasure chest here, in Persona 4, he's a very difficult, like, sub-boss enemy, I guess we can call him. But if you do manage to beat him, you unlock one of your character's best weapons. <laughs> and then he just slammed his head on a keyboard. Um, or if you don't get the character's best weapons, you get the best armor in the game. Or at least w one of the, uh, I think you get something called an Omnipotent Orb, or something along those lines. And that basically nullifies most damage. Yeah, it's an omnipotent orb, and it is an accessory, kind of like the Oryu Brace. And it pretty much nullifies all attacks, with the exception of Almighty. So very useful, if you're willing to hunt for the Reaper, and if you're willing to actually fight said Reaper. But since this is Persona 4 Golden, if you're not feeling entirely comfortable, you can just knock down the amount of damage he gives you, or up the kind of damage you provide. So I said I was going to use all those sodas. So I just have Narukami and all my magic users just chug them. Everybody just chug all these sodas. Gotta get Yukiko's SP up. And get Kanji a little bit too. Alright. Everybody's at a pretty good level. And now it's time to fight... Mitsuo Kubo. Evil Kyle Bear. <laughs> kind of takes away the severity whenever you're in a friggin' 8-bit dungeon. Or 16-bit, I don't know. 32-bit? Wait, Kanji. Something's not right. Everyone gets on my nerves. That's why I did it. What do you think of that? Say something, damn it! Everybody still likes Teen Gohan better, but that's not me! I voice adult Gohan! And thought of me after the first two people. That's why I went for the third one. I killed them! What are you all quiet for? Because I feel nothing. Ooh. What are you talking about? Makes sense, damn it! What the which one's the shadow? That's fucked. If you can't tell the difference between the actual guy and the shadow. Something's not right with that person. If you can't tell between the one who has a shadow aura and the real one. I'm not saying Chie's dumb. I'm saying Mitsuo Kubo is a piece of shit. Kanji, can you please deck this guy? We came after you. Are you the killer? 
<laughs> Bad Kyle Bear. I am. I'm the one behind everything. Me, Kyle A. Bear. What this imposter's saying. <laughs> you hear that? You have nothing to do with me. Well, that's not. That's not technically the words you're supposed to say, but okay. You too. Why'd you chase me all the way here? Cause you're a filthy murderer. I'll kill all of you. Uh huh. Do it, you know. Yeah. I can do anything. Kyle, let's not get over confident here. I don't know. We kind of outnumber this asshole. And we do have Chie and Kanji. Okay. So now we have one of the worst bosses in the game. One of the most annoying ones. Get ready, everyone. Once we beat him, this case is as good as closed. So end of the game, yay. Yeah, I know Shadow Yukiko is kind of annoying, but this one is pretty bad. Mostly because it's kind of tedious. And there's your reference to 3D game dot heroes. Because <laughs> it looks almost exactly like the character on the cover of the box. Jeez, I hope they don't make an actual game out of this. <laughs> You'll have to destroy the outer shell first. Yeah. So, Mitsu the Mitsuo fight is kind of weird. See, the, you don't actually do much damage to the baby version of Mitsuo because he's a big baby. Oh, and Shadow Mitsuo uses <laughs> Dragon Warrior style fight fighting commands. <laughs> and it looks stupid. <laughs> This is our main antagonist, everybody. Oh, jeez. This is our serial killer. And it even plays like a 8-bit version of, uh, of the main battle theme. So the fight goes, you have to kill the game character version of Mitsuo before you can actually get to the small baby version inside him. But once you knock it down... Oh, and this is also kind of annoying because... Yeah, he does that. And it also doesn't get knocked down by criticals. But, once you knock the small, tiny, weakling baby inside it... Are you, ready? you can automatically do a rush attack. And now you just have to speed up a small defenseless child, even though it has like psychic powers and shit. Strangely enough, in uh, in the anime, this actually turned out to be a really like pivotal moment in the series, because somewhere along the lines, Narakami like gets absorbed into Shadow Mitsuo's world, and it's like nobody cares. Everybody becomes like super apathetic. And everybody's like, eh, whatever. Like, it it works out like the case was solved, but nobody wants to hang out with Teddy or nobody wants to do anything else. And I think that's actually where Narakami faces his shadow self. So that's a pretty weird instance of there. Where that's like the only other time you see Shadow Narakami besides Persona 4 Arena. Oh, and also, if it if you didn't catch that, yeah, right? he'll find a weakness of one of your characters, and then he'll hit he'll hit you with that mass weakness attack, and then he'll use Megidola, which is an almighty attack, which does a shit ton of damage, and then he'll just focus on the character he knocked down to make them exhausted. So he's doing that shit to Yosuke a lot, and I think later on in the fight he's gonna do that to Yukiko. But fortunately, my characters have a high enough, like, social link boost that they'll pick up uh, somebody who got their ass knocked down. So thank you, Cat FC, for your social link guide. Okay. He speaks in that weird, like... Uh hollow voice thing. Oh, and then he'll start doing shit like this, where he'll start rebuilding his game character shell. He needs to do three actions in order to build it up. However, this can be interrupted. If you do heavy enough damage to Mitsuo, 
he won't be able to form his uh, game like shell, and then he'll fall down. You can do another rush attack, and then you'll just have to keep doing that again and again and again. Just lather, rinse, repeat. It's kind of a tedious fight compared to some of the other boss fights. Oh, see? Like that. Because I think later on... Because I think later on in the fight, he kind of is able to just make his straight-up game character because he'll just use two turns to just make the shell, and then he'll use a mass, um, a mass weakness attack that'll give him an extra an extra attack, and then he'll just use that turn to finish up the outer shell. So kind of annoying. See? And I think I managed to knock him out of this one, but I think on the next time he starts it up, I won't be able to stop him. Or maybe he does it right now. Yeah, he, he finishes up right now. But I think this is the last time you'll see the outer shell, because now it levels up, and now it can use spells. Like Gigadine. Which doesn't tackle anybody's weaknesses, for some reason. Even though it looked like an electrical attack. And I think he'll just keep spamming that for a bit. Nope, he'll just try hitting Yukiko. I know this is kind of a New Game Plus run for all my character's stats, but his attacks don't really hurt that much. Again, probably because I've overleveled my characters. So, that might be the reason. Again, it's not really a hard fight, it's more just tedious. I do like this remix, though. It is pretty nice. Ready, Mitsuo? Kick the baby! For some reason, Risei never wants to chime in for... Didn't want to chime in as often for this fight as she usually does. I think as you progress her social link... Oh, no, no. Not as you progress her social link. Later on... Uh, whenever everybody get... Whenever everybody learns how to use their scooters or their bikes, you can eventually go on, like, bike rides with other party members. And that will also unlock some... That will also unlock some skills for your characters. Which is exclusive to Golden, obviously. Yeah, he actually managed to knock down Yukiko. And I think he manages to do it again. I was thinking about using Yosuke to heal, but... He... Mitsuo is almost dead. And besides, Yukiko can do a lot better. And I seriously hate it whenever he does that, because it's like he's being a spoiled little baby who can't get his way. So he's just ha hammering on the friggin' uh, weak attacks. But it's not gonna matter much longer, because he's gonna be frickin' dead. Stupid baby! Meh. It's fine. Yukiko might be inflicted with fear, but Mitsuo's dead. <laughs> oh no! Should we show him who's boss? Okay. Quick, kick, kick the shit out of Manish boy. Just like JoJo would have done. No, just like Kakyoin would have done. That part where the baby always like, kind of like mumbles something. That always kind of freaked me out a little bit. Like it was chanting something like dark. Ugh. The fact that Kanji almost is learning his ultimate uh, 
single elemental spell faster than Yosuke kind of makes me a little worried for Yosuke. Or wait, did Yosuke already learn Gyrodyne? You've been a major pain in our ass. Yosuke, why don't you just deck him? What the? You guys. Who the hell are you guys? We're detectives. I mean, we're the investigation team. The police are after you. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases, all on me. <laughs> That's right. I did it. You yeah. piece of shit. Beat the shit out of him, Kanji. Moraoka, that stupid announcer, and the Konishi bitch too. I Why? All of them. It was all me. It was me, Austin. It was me all along, John Cena. What's going on? That's a uh, that freaking monster disappeared. That's a bit weird. Son of a bitch. I guess if you reject your other half that hard, or if you're that broken of a person, you don't get a persona. I guess your other half is thinking, "Wow, this guy's fucked." Yeah, there's no saving him. Just move on. Where am I? Somebody kick him in the teeth. Just real quick. Wouldn't take but a second. Just like shot put his face. Why Boom. Am I here? What the hell are you guys? S stop it. Why did the TV? <sighs> hey. You seem confused from everything that happened, <laughs> but we have a bunch of questions for you. Teddy's our interrogator. He's gonna do like Batman, slam your head on the through the TV. Oh my God! Freaking Teddy's like Genos, and we're like Saitama. What a loser! Get out of my face, freak! Can we please just beat the shit out of this asshole? Please, I'm willing to sick Teddy on him. You're not helping. I disagree. I think Teddy can kick his ass. told you I did it why how, how could you do such yeah how did exactly did you hang Moroka on top of like the top of the water tower how did nobody catch you before this and he's just gone crazy about it right it's a huge deal and I did it all of it all by myself uh the attention? That's the worst reason. Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? Yes, that's a good question, Yukiko. <laughs> Whoa, look who it is. <laughs> hey, Yuki. Ew. After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit. Please shut the fuck up. Answer me. If you held a grudge against me, that's fine. How did you capture Kanji? Answer that, shit, shitbird. <laughs> what a joke. You're so desperate, it hurts. I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. You know... You what? Yosuke. Are you kidding me? Please deck him. You killed Senpai over nothing? You son of a bitch! Not great. Get what's coming to you. <laughs> what? Are you gonna kill me? No, we're just gonna beat the shit out of you. There you go. It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. Yeah, Kanji. Be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. This is why I like Kanji. Kanji's the cool and level-headed level one. Why, damn it. Why You'd think Kanji would be punching the shit out of this guy right now, but he's holding back. Because he knows that would be wrong. Dude, the cops. And see, look! Huh? What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, see? Yeah. Freaking Yosuke is freaking out. I'm calling for blood. And Kanji's being the calm and rational one. Making all the correct decisions. This is why I like Kanji a lot. Kanji's the best. Frick it, I give up my leading potential to Kanji. Let him lead the team from now on. Oh wait, we're done. Well, I guess this means our work is done. Yay, team. 
I can't get my head around that. Just wrong. That's an understatement. I mean, not that it would have been okay if he'd had a better reason. I know. Don't worry. It's finally over. Let's leave the rest to the police. Yeah, My now we leave it to the police. Again now. Yeah, I'm happy for you. We really went through a lot. Shit was crazy. I like scoring with guys. <laughs> oh, come on, will you ever let it go? Why'd you guys bring it? What? Scoring with guys? <laughs> know the details. Oh, I did. I, I, sure like I disagree. Get the sauna incident too, right, Kanjikun? Should we forget about the castle incident, Yukiko? Well. Hmm. That's not fair. I wanted to see everyone else's too. That's right. We three are the only ones who saw everyone's secret. Cause we're awesome. Hey, so what was Yosuke's like? Come on, it's about time you told us. To say that it was really embarrassing. That's not, that wasn't really that embarrassing. He was just oh, sick of the countryside. It's embarrassing that it was that blit. It was that base. Nothing really happened in your case, huh? Cause I'm flawless. Really? Wait, really? Is there something special about Senpai after all? They actually addressed the shadow thing Sensei in uh, the during the Mitsuo fight. I already mentioned this, but now, that the case is solved, now it, but in the game, you just don't get one. Anymore. Your character's perfect. In the anime, he has some flaws and he has some kind of demons. But he already had his persona beforehand, so I don't know. Hey, why don't we have a celebration? We always have a rap party after we're done shooting. It's fun, and it'll help give us some closure. Ooh, a party! That sounds great. Let's go all out. Yeah, pizza. Oh, oh I want to go to Yuki-chan's house. Gorgeous dinner, hot springs, table tennis, yukata, geisha, Fujiyama, full witness. Ah. Uh. You had to say Woot, didn't you? You're right. Yukiko Senpai's family runs a hot springs inn. A hot spring that Yukiko Senpai baits into? Wow, Kanji. Hey, keep it to yourself. You're sounding like a creep. Hi, Kettle. Name's Pot. You're black. It sounds like fun, but I don't think it's possible today. Yeah, it's summer vacation. All the rooms must be occupied. Oh, no hot spring episode? Can't do a sleepover? Maybe next time. I promise. Ah, so there's a possibility of a hot spring episode. It's not lost yet. Your place instead. Why my place? Oh, but will your uncle get suspicious? Like, why are you all celebrating? Nah. Let's do this shit. Who cares? My uncle's not gonna be home anyway. Let's head over right away. Nanako is super depressed about all that, but cool. Nanako-chan might be getting hungry. Oh, please, no. Hey, then why don't we make dinner together? Don't you dare. Wow, are you good at cooking, senpai? No, they are not. Well, sort of? Bullshit you are, woman. What are you saying? Did you already forget the tragedy of the school camp out? You can poison Yosuke, but do not poison Nanako. That's fucked up. She's right. We just got a couple of the ingredients wrong. Uh-huh. Guys, please don't do this. I'm begging you, I don't need another trauma to deal with. We just captured a serial killer, but this is way more dangerous. Ooh. I'll make something for you, Senpai. Yay. At least possibility of one being good. Teddy has a great idea. Teddy has a bad idea. The winner will be crowned Iron Cook Inaba. Teddy has a very bad idea. Very terrible idea indeed. Now I'm even more worried. That sounds like fun. No, you don't get to join in. Neither does Yukiko. Hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? I do like Risei's confidence. Dude, listen to me. For the sake of our stomachs, you have to cook something too. Help us, partner. You're our only hope. Nice Star Wars reference, Yosuke. Why? Why would you subject her to that? Teddy can be a tester too. At the end, you're supposed to say that was delicious, right? Teddy, do not encourage this. I'm getting all fired up. Oh God. All right, let us advance forth into the grocery section downstairs. Charge! The fact that Mystery Food X is a weapon that Teddy uses in Persona 4 Arena makes me worried about the outcome of this. I'm just saying, there's an achievement for it in everything.
Bye, Callaways. What you want for dinner? What do I want? Um, anything's fine. Oh, she's modest. She's just being modest. Ask her again. Well, um, an omelet. Ooh. I want to eat omelet with fried rice. I haven't had an omelet in a while. Omelets are good. Tasty. Okay. Get some I'm egg. Waiting. Put some bacon in it. Jalapenos. A little bit of pepper. Mmm. Maybe some onions in it too. Fried rice omelet, an excellent choice, Nanako-chan. Sounds tasty. I'm getting hungry for an omelet now. A second helping of Mystery Food X. Yeah. Don't count them out just yet. Huh? What's wrong? N nothing. All right. Let's go get our ingredients. Your hesitation makes me worry, Chie. Oh dear. They're all making the same thing. Why are they splitting up to different parts of the market? Well, Looks shit. Like you'll need all the help I can give you. Hey, what kind of omelet are you making? I'll go get the ingredients for you. The correct answer is... You have a variety of omelets to choose from, but the correct answer is... Asian American soy flavored. Because you're catering to Nanako. You gotta think of what she'll like. Mm. Quite an eye you got there, senpai. It's a must-have for my special omelet. Risa is going fancy. Don't worry, I'll let you have a taste. Ooh, or maybe I could spoon feed you. <laughs> I heard last time you choked down something so awful that words couldn't describe it. That is true. It was horrible. <laughs> you poor dears. Who would do such a horrible thing? Risei-san, this is going to be the only chance you get to gloat. You made poison. She can gloat as much as she wants. I'll crush you with one strike. Jesus. That's our navigator, guys. You look like you're ready to enter the ultimate frying championship. Kanji-kun, that's alcohol. Oh, <laughs> Well, I was... Anyway. Uh, how was he going to pay for that? How is he gonna like buy that? They card you on those things, you know. Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. It's a sample. You take one. So everybody else can have some. This one's ready too. Teddy, you work there. You should know this lady. Hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one too. Ah. You're so beautiful. Oh jeez. Oh my. No. No, I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. But I really want this meat, and I want you to cook it, miss. Teddy is... Oh, Wah. possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'm gonna knock the stuffing out of that bear. He's hitting on the sample lady. How many of the other workers here does he hit on, Yosuke? Just keep him in the bear outfit. That'll stop that. Nobody will want to have sex with a mascot. We say Chan was right. This celebration does make me feel like it's over. Should we really be having Teddy next to Nanako? I know they're more or less on the same mental level, but still. Nah, Nanako's way smarter. It's really Risa-chan. Yeah. I should go back over there soon. Are you going somewhere? Yep, the guys kept their promise. Aww. A promise. Oh. What if you made a promise with me? Could you say them? A promise with Nanachan? Nanako is always so smart and. A promise that you'll play with me. Oh. Sensei. No wonder she's along with the Justice Arcana, little angel. So I should go back over there. Shut your face. You're staying here. But a promise is a promise. We didn't I say you get booted back to the TV world, did we? You promised Nanako. Sensei. Aw, I like you anyway, Teddy. You're a cool guy. I promise with Nanachan. I made a promise to play with her. 
It's not creepy because he's because Teddy's more or less innocent. It wasn't just despite the fact that he was macking on one of the on one of the sales attendants. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. I can't exactly remember how Dave Wittenberg did this performance, but I want to say he did it pr pretty well. Although I think Sam Regal does a little bit of better of a job. So yay, the star social link is going up. Yeah, so, oh, now he knows Recarm. So we can actually pick somebody up from, he can actually uh, resurrect somebody if they fall down. Yosuke, I have a new promise to keep. So I want to stay here a little longer. Is that okay with you, sir? Huh? What are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. You can't just quit your job like that. In any case, if you left... It's you wouldn't be able to pay me back for those clothes. Food. Out of the way, senpai. Move it! Whoa. Jeez! Bon that red one looks a little suspect. Well, wait a sec. Asking Nanako-chan to jump in and try these for us is kind of unethical. Agreed. Don't look at us like that! You made poison! So it's our job to taste it first. Make sure we can keep it down. Mm. Hey, that's mean. That's what a man would do. Then try mine first, Yosuke Senpai. It's guaranteed delicious. You don't mind me going first? Actually, I've been looking forward to yours. Here we go. I mean, Rizet cooked it herself. Can you imagine? How I mean, she's a very multi-talented idol, so maybe she's well, pretty good at cooking. Chow time. Let's find out. Oh boy. I, I can't give this to Nanako-chan. Ooh, it's so delicious that you won't let anyone else have a bite? Maybe we should try. See how it tastes. It, your mouth is now on fire. Gee. It's like you have charcoal in your face. It's like you've just tasted a... Oh. Tastes like iron. That's not a good... That's not good. I think we need to spit that out now. It's not good. Here, try mine next. I'll take this one. Kanji, don't do that. Kanji, that's a lot. Oh, boy. He's going for seconds. Thirds. Hey, say something. Well, uh... How do I put this? I'm not dead. It tastes really, um, boneless. D did she put chicken in it? What? That's not a word you use to describe taste. I don't know. Does it taste good or not? Tell me. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be dangerous. Well, that's good. There's no flavors in particular. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> How could this be? Not good. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> it tastes like... Like I'm eating plain oatmeal. It's pretty impressive that you put so many ingredients into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. That is impressive. Your palate just isn't refined enough. Did you taste it? Chefs generally taste their own meals in order to kind of properly gauge the flavor. I think it tastes good. Well, of course Nanako thinks it tastes good. Because Nanako's a little saint. Okay. She thinks anything will be good as long as it makes everybody happy. Uh, I don't know about this, but I think it'll taste good. This time for sure. I'll give it a whirl. Well, it looks good, physically. Like it's got a little bit of friedness to it. How is it? Wow, this tastes awful. <laughs> to try this Yosuke Teddy's like pure like innocence and just straightforwardness is is just endearing uh -huh. I see it does taste awful <laughs> what exactly were we expecting well, um, it's a huge improvement over the curry well look Yosuke's yeah, trying to Yosuke's at least extending an olive branch better. and didn't seem like a huge asshole Good too. 
A <laughs> little hard for to get the words out, but... Oh, Nanako, you're just... You're just too good. Yeah, they're right. <laughs> they're totally right. It tastes awful. <laughs> what a dick, Yukiko is. Then try Rizei-chan. I bet you anything mine tastes better than hers. Rizei looks expectantly. And... Dead. Ironic, considering she's our fire mage. One strike. <laughs> our healer's down. It's a good thing Teddy just learned recarm. <laughs> Quick, Teddy, use recarm right now. You just learned it. Aww. I didn't say... Aww. You made Laura Bailey cry. Shame on you. Nanako-chan, don't! It's spicy, but it's still good. It's still good! It's good! Nanako-chan! Gee. I knew it! Nanako-chan's the most mature person in this room. Nanako's gonna be dead by the end of this. Oh, yeah. Didn't you make one too, senpai? The only edible one. You did? This is really good. This is actual food. It's not complete garbage. It's amazing. See, that's a genuine compliment. <laughs> I'll have sustenance for tonight. <laughs> Yay! Nanako, ch at least Nanako likes ours. Are you full, Nanako Chan? At least Nanako had food. We're still starving. If you're so hungry, then help yourself to an awful tasting omelet. <laughs> I'd go for the spicy one. Uh, I have a suggestion. Pizza? You guys know about the festival they're holding in the shopping district, right? Why don't we all go? Oh, that sounds good. Whoa. Does that mean the girls will be wearing yukata? Probably. A this is anime. We'll bring Nanako-chan along too. Yay! I can come. Of course you can. You went through three terrible omelets and my awesome one, but you earned it. Festival food always tastes great for some reason, even if it ain't anything fancy. Whew. We'll finally be able to get some edible food for once. <laughs> womp womp. All right. So on the next episode, on the next part. We'll actually go to the festival and see what that's all about. And we'll progress some more uh, social links while we're at it. But until then, the case is pretty much solved. So I guess the rest of it's just going to be social links until we have to go back home. Alright then. Well, let's let it move on to the second. There we go. Alright. Well, until the next part... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I guess we'll just wait for the police to make their next move. And we'll find out more about that in the next update. Thanks for watching. When I say yeah, I wish you say back, say oh yeah. Yeah, I love it now. Let's change the world.